Looking for cheap Madden 20 coins? Head on over to goldenmuckcoins.com for the cheapest muck coins online and use code MPG for 30% off your order. Link is in the description. What's up today my fellow Madden Soldiers? So what we're going to be doing right now is adding a new member to the Goon Squad. And the person we're going to be adding is a new right and Ultimate Legend, Simeon Rice. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the auction block. Because some of you guys might be curious on how, how I acquired him. Or the best way to go about acquiring him and the things that, you, that I feel that you, you should do in order to acquire him. If you don't want to spend that much coinage, you know. So let's go over here. We're going to see this price. The first thing I'll say is basically already done happened, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Meaning that at any moment when the Ultimate Legends barely come out, I would never encourage you guys to go to Auction Block and buy the players right away. Unless you guys just for some reason really want them, you have the coinage, and you don't care. But honestly, even with that being said, I have the coinage, as you can tell, and I still don't want to go and get them right away. Because it's better to get them later on when he's a little bit cheaper. Which when it came to Simeon Rice, he actually did go up or down the price. I'm going to show you guys right now. Um... And if they don't go down in price, then go ahead and get them later on if that's what you want to do. But at least you know that most likely by eight or nine hours after the end, of, towards the end of the day, if it didn't go down, then you guys pra um, practically know that most likely he's not going to go down. So let's go here and go down here. As you can tell right now, he's already down to 254. When he first came out, he was out by like 300 and something K coins. Just so you guys know that. So he actually went down, I mean, almost 50 K coins. So to me, that's good. I bought them already. I bought them for about 250k coins. So I'm all right with that. However, so if you guys just want to get him, that's cool. But the thing is, I'm going to go ahead and power him up and everything because, I mean, unfortunately, we have to use, we have to power him up if we want to put Sprinter and everything else on him, right? Which is horrible. But I mean, it is what it is. Or else I wouldn't even try to power him up. So, anyways, let's go over here to the, he has actually another version of his card. I just want to let you guys know that. And I'm going to show you this. Let me go ahead and just type in rice. It'll make it a lot easier for all of us. So here he is right here. Look at it. He's his, his, look at his 95 right end version of him is 169k coins. This is insane, right? To me, it's kind of worth it just based on the fact that he's the best right end in the game. And the reason why is because of his speed, which I'm going to show you guys right now in a minute. Um, just this just card alone, which is a 95 version of him, is 87 speed, all right? So at this moment, he's the best right in the game. And that's the only reason why I'm getting him. I forgot they even had this guy. Um, I have Dwight Freeney on the squad as my backup. And eventually, he'll be my end game right in. But this guy came out first. And he has a speed that I want that I'm satisfied with. I'm pretty sure when Dwight Freeney comes out, he's probably going to have the similar speed. So if I have the corners later on, most likely I'll continue. To, I'll, I'll just add Dwight Freeney back if I want to. But at this moment, to me... I'm all right with Simeon Rice. Why? Because they didn't have him in last year that I know of. And so he'll be someone that I didn't actually use. And I'm all right with that. This guy will basically be my end game right in. And I'm cool with that. But anyways, what I was going to tell you guys is. If you don't have the corners, don't go and buy this guy right now. Because I didn't buy him. Like I said, is he worth to buy it um, at this time? The only reason I'll say yeah is because he's the best right in the game. But I would encourage you guys to buy it. If you don't have a power up pass, then go ahead and do it. But if you guys got a 95 power up pass. The best thing for you to do is to go find out if that power, um, if that power pass you, whoever you have it on, if that card is actually cheaper than this card. If it is, go buy that card and use a power pass on this guy. Just like that's what I did. I have my power pass on Bo Jackson, um, his 95 version. His 95 version was only going for like 65k, so I bought the 65k Bo Jackson, and I'm gonna use a 95 power pass on Simeon Rice. That's how I'm gonna go ahead and power him up um, for very cheap. So the main card I basically had to get was just his 99 Ultimate Legend and then of course you some training which you could tell that I actually have. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that first because I think that that's very important. It can save you a lot of coins. Like once again, like if you have whoever you have your 95 power pass on and you want to go ahead and get this guy, go see if that version of the card has a 95, um, a cheaper version that you have, of the person you have the 95 power pass on. And then buy, purchase that card and then use your 95 power pass on Simeon Rice. But anyways, let's go ahead and do it. Simeon Rice is right here. So let's go. Without further ado, let's go ahead and power him up. We're going to put everything on him. Stats. And we're going to hook this guy up right now. 
This guy's probably going to be the one with all the... Or he's going to be the one. I'm going to put abilities everything on him right now. Just so you guys know that. Um, I'm going to deactivate um, Demarcus Lawrence. He's going to be on the squad. He's still going to be my left end. But I'm gonna actually going to activate this guy when it comes to abilities. So why is he going to the auction block? I oh, okay, okay. I was like, I was tripping, right? Okay, let me go back out. I forgot to take the power pass off Bo Jackson. That's why he's doing that. So let's go over here. We're going to put half back just to hurry up and get it done. So we got Bo Jackson. Where you can tell right there we have his other version of his card already, which is only like 65K. So it says right there, we're going to lose some chemistry because we had chemistry. on. We'll, we'll, we'll add all that back on later, so I'm not even worrying about it. But just to show you guys real quick, you see Bo Jackson, we're going to see his price. You see Simeon Rice, 95, was going for 169K. Look at Bo Jackson, 59K. Of course, I bought Bo Jackson, and then I'm going to use my power pass on Simeon Rice. That's how you guys do it. So let's go ahead and ride back to right end. Here he goes. All right, let's put the power pass on him. But just so you guys know that that 95 version of Simeon Rice will go down soon. Remember, Dwight Feeney most likely is going to get another card. So, pretty sure at that time it's going to go down. So, if I need it again, I'll go back and just get my power pass. It's fine with me. So, there he is. Look at it. This guy is 91 speed. And this is just stock. I haven't even added Sprinter and everything else on him. And I got John Madden too, right? So, he's about to go up to like 94 speed. So, for a right in, this is very dangerous right here. Very dangerous guy right here. So, I hope he plays that great in game. And we're all going to find out because I'm going to do gameplays and all that. I'm going to do it right now, but I will eventually get the gameplay done. Um, when it comes to these X Factors, I don't know what works, what don't. But we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll just put on stop before Force. It's fine. We'll put something on him. And so, he gets four abilities, right? So, we're going to go ahead and hook him up. So, what does he get? He gets the Enforcer Lumberjack. Oh, so, he gets some good ones. So, let me go ahead and read them off real quick. He gets Clutch. Indoor baller, homer, unfakeable, under pressure, reach elite, secure tackler, finesse specialist, we'll probably uh, put on him, edge threat, um, pass rush elite, enforcer, tackle supreme, edge threat elite, wow, you got some good ones, lumberjack, out of my way, no outsiders, inside stuff, goal line stuff. So on the other ones, when we look at the other tiers, if they say the same thing, or if um, these other slots ain't open, then we practically know that they're the same ones. But I think we're gonna have to get um, edge threat elite, right? That's what we have to. That's one of the ones we gotta get. Or the edge threat dominant pass rush. No, where's the, doesn't he have edge threat elite? I just named that, right? Oh, here we go. Dominant pass rush moves and increased QB pressure. So we're gonna add that on him. That's the first one we're gonna add on him. So let's make sure his uh, second one has it. So as you can tell, these other ones didn't open up. So he has all the same ability. So basically, he's gonna get the same abilities on all of them, right? If these don't open up. So let's put. We're gonna put pass rush to get quicker pass rush. So what is this one? Dominant pass pass rush moves and increase QB pressure, right? Quicker pass rush moves and block shedding. What's the difference? Pass rush elite. It's the same thing. Edge threat elite. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna put that on them because that doesn't make no sense. Um, what about finesse specialist? That might work out better, right? Faster fin finesse move animations during the pass rush. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Hold on. Dominant pass through moves and increase QB pressure. I don't, should I even put that on him? I'm going to put this on him. If you guys think that I should put something else on him, let me know. Um, I think this, these might practically be the same, but I'm going to put it on him anyway. So, tackle supreme, decrease fake out chance and better conserve tackles. Decreased. So, that means it's not guaranteed. I don't, I, I really don't like that. But we, we, that reach elite, I'm telling you right now, that reach elite. Here it is. We're going to put that on him. I know for a fact because I have it on Demarcus Lawrence. That actually works quite well on him. So I know that for a fact. Um, I don't know if I want to put Enforcer on him. Because it, when it comes to the pass rush, it really doesn't work out as you would think, right? But let's see what else we have. Nah, we're not going to put that under pressure. We already got something else. Quicker run shares near the goal line. Don't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Quicker run shares against the outside plays. Nope. Because we have the pass rush lead and reach lead. So we don't matter. So we'll go ahead and just put we'll put tackle supreme. We'll see how that works. Um, hopefully it does something. Are there all four? Yeah. So these are all the four ones that we got right here. We got edge straight elite, finesse specialist, reach elite, and tackle supreme. So we'll see how that goes. We're gonna put who we're gonna put who we have. Do we have Broncos? 
Oh yeah, because we have Peyton Manning. We don't have Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay uh, Bucks like that. Oh, so we have one for Peyton Manning. I right, really don't matter. I don't think we have a lot for him anyway. We're gonna put pass rush on him, and then we're gonna put with the sprinter. Yeah, we're gonna put. No, we're not gonna put. That. We're gonna put sprinter on him. Where's that? Here we go. Yeah, we need that acceleration. And then no, we're gonna keep him at his position. The fawn art. Let's see what he got. Okay, so that's when he was. Where was the Arizona fans? Probably gonna put that. I want to see if he has anything more goonish than what he has right there. Someone be dude. They, they do. No, I don't like that. No, no. I see. I, I like. I like having him in action, right? I don't. I don't like just his picture. Like I want to see him out there gooning it. Let me see. You know, yeah, well, I'm going to keep this one. I like this one right here. This one's cool right here. So we're going to keep that one on him. So yeah, that's cool. I like that one. So I'm going to show you how he looks. Just his stock version. And then we're going we're gonna to go see how he looks um, with the with the blue kims and everything on him. So this, this is just stock car. No blue kims, no nothing. He's 6'5", 91 speed, 95 acceleration. Wow. 91 strength, 93 tackle, 95 play rec, 92 block shed, 90 power moves, 99 finesse move. Oh my goodness. This guy's going to be a... I can't wait to play with him. As you guys well know, I've been waiting for a good right in for a while. So when I seen him, when I seen his speed, I told you guys before, speed was a uh, number one factor when it comes to my right end. So I'm all right with him, especially knowing that I never used him in game before. So we're going to switch out uh, Demarcus Lawrence. Later on, I'll organize my team better. Um, we're just going to put him in real quick. We'll put him for this position only for now until we figure everything out later. Just so I can read you off his stats real quick. Let's make sure we have pass rush and all that 30 out of 30, right? So we do. We got it. Okay, we're good. I just wanted to make sure all that was intact. So here it is right here. These are the blue kims right here. Didn't go up too much, but I'm all right because the main number one thing is the speed. Everything else is cool because everything else is really pretty much decent. So he gets 94 speed, 97 acceleration, 89 strength. It went down a little bit because we got sprinter. 93 tackle, 95 play rec, 92 block chance. Still the same. 92 power move. So that went up a couple points and 99 finesse move. This car right here is going to be a monster. I can't wait to play with him. He looks goonish. I'm happy that I got him on our squad. I'm happy that I was able to show you guys to him. If you guys want to get him, look at this video. Consider what I said and try to get him for as cheap as you can. But to me right now, he's the best right in the game. And I'm happy to have him. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. If you guys like what you've seen, drop a like. If you guys think sub, sub to the channel. There will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.